In this video, we're going to see how you can go about embedding iframes into the Elms text editor. Now, the reason that we need a special video for this is because um, metrics in the text editor will actually scrub out iframes by default. It's partially a security thing, uh, mostly has to do with a lot of the HTML purifier stuff you see in the accessibility videos. Um, so we're going to do this view source on this iframe, and this is one that I copied from YouTube in creation of these videos. And so, you know, it looks like standard iframe. Um, if I right click it, you see I have iframe properties. The way that you get iframes to show up is you need to have a name property associated to them. Um, and I'll show why. If I re remove the name property, we'll save. That is technically an empty element. And if you've watched the uh, accessibility and purifier video, uh, we actually strip out empty elements. So the editor re uh, registers an empty element as the iframe. Now, if I go back and I hit edit, it's still there. It just won't render through to the page because it's detected that it's empty. Uh, so the way that you get it to render is you give it a name, something that's in the name property. Um, so in this case, I'm giving it intro video. And so really all that does, if I look at the source, is that it adds a name attribute and then it adds intro video. So we'll hit save. Another little thing you notice with embedding stuff from uh, Vimeo and YouTube uh, and possibly other sources that are iframe based, you see load of the page and it appears there's nothing here. Uh, now if I refresh the page, the object code triggers in and then it loads. So um, it's, a, it's a minor quirk. I don't know that it's specific to uh, Drupal even. I think it has to do with the, access, the advanced accessibility uh, scrubbing that we're doing. Um, but just something to keep in mind.